you guys probably know from the channel that I do a lot of reviews of haversacks and satchels and, and bags, and I've done my fair share of reviews of Hidden Woodsman gear and of other brands as well. And <clears throat> Malcolm just sent me this this newest edition of his 2020 haversack. This is the newest iteration, has d new changes to it that he's not done with his other haversacks in the past, and I am blown away. This thing is incredible. So what I wanna do is I wanna go through, show you the features, show you what I have in mind, and that'll help you decide if you need to purchase one and how you would set yours up too. So let's take a look. All right, right off the bat, the first thing we're going to take a look at is this camo that he's been um, sporting on a lot of his new gear. This is Atax um, IXX, or IX. Um, it is a fantastic camo pattern. It really blends well into the woods, fall or spring. Um, it's just a very cool camo pattern, and um, it looks awesome on this haversack, and he does some other stuff too in his lineup with this camo so if you're looking for some matching pouches and things like that he has those on his website which there will be a link below um, also uh, this particular haversack is made from a thousand d cordura so it is really durable um, uh, as always the stitching is impeccable uh, the craftsmanship made in the usa is really on on top of his game with this this is just it's phenomenal uh, Malcolm, I've been a customer of his since the very beginning, and his stuff keeps getting better and better every year. He just gets, he's really honed his craft, and um, as a craftsman, his stuff is, is no exception. It's just, it's, a, it's amazing. He does a great job. I can't say enough about it. So, um, features, he's gone back to the double buckle in the front. And he uses quality buckles these are not cheap ones these are I believe these are national molding stealth buckles if I remember correctly yeah national molding stealth buckles 1000d Cordura it has a nice grab handle on the back it's got two-tone lining the lining is coyote on the inside there is a pocket a zipper pocket on the front And in here I keep my compass and my notepad. Behind that zipper pocket is a slip pocket. In this slip pocket I keep my first aid kit. Plenty of room for books, notebooks, things like that. So if you're going to um, carry your field guides with you, this would be a great pocket to put that stuff in. The main compartment has this flap now with a buckle closure so you can actually cinch your load down, keep your stuff contained. If you need to expand it, you can open up this buckle, do that, which I think is a really nice feature. Really well done. It's a great idea. And then we get into the main compartment. And the main compartment is lined in orange cordura, as you can see that. And in here, this is where I keep, of course, a bottle and my Pathfinder cup. I've got my fire kit in here. This is just a Maxpedition pouch. Got some gloves, definitely need those today. It is chilly out. And then on the back wall, there's another zipper pocket. And in there, I've got the lid to my Pathfinder cup. Now, what's really cool about this in this uh, main pocket, and this is a new feature for this for the 2020 model, is that Malcolm has sewn in slip pockets down the side. I don't know if you can see that, but there I've got my open L saw. There's one on this side. And there's one on the other side. And over here I've got my two arrows California bush tool. And that just slips right down that side pocket. So it helps you organize your gear and keep the your knives and things um, contained from you know falling all over the bag. 
it's just a, it's a great feature to have that to have those slip pockets I love it close this back up moving to the back Malcolm has eliminated the axe sleeve on the back now I know for some people that's going to be a problem they're not going to like that um, I don't it doesn't bother me because I really found carrying a hatchet on a haversack to be kind of too heavy um, it's just it's just too much weight haversacks in my opinion need to be lightweight and need to have just the bare minimum I don't need to to have an axe or a hatchet on my haversack so he's eliminated that so now there's not going to be any rubbing against your side I think that was a complaint from some customers that the once you put a hatchet back there um, it, it caused rubbing um, and sore spot uh, on your side for, for extended periods of time on the sides he's still doing molly webbing at the top so you can attach additional pouches both sides on mine I've got a I just a key keeper so the newest feature for the 2020 haversack is a shoulder pad and I know a lot of people who have purchased his older models have always went out and purchased a separate shoulder pad to add to their bags because they felt that they needed them um, and so this is just a great addition because now it's color matched it's it's sewn by Malcolm and it hidden wood, hidden woodsman um, so it's going to match your pack perfectly you don't have to worry about purchasing an extra one it's going to come with it so just another great feature so uh, he's really updated the haversack to uh, to be something more phenomenal than it ever has been um, he's just really knocked it out of the park with this one um, two inch straps uh, strapping for the shoulder strap uh, of course there is velcro keeper sewn in to help maintain the extra strapping he also does that on the bottom straps of the pack as well or the, the flap packs the flap straps uh, does that uh, velcro keepers which I think is a nice feature just a really great addition to the pack um, like I say you know it's there's not much more I can that I can really go on about it. It's just it's a phenomenal haversack. It carries the load very very well. All right, that's it for today's video. I hope this you found this useful. I'm going to put a link down to Malcolm's site below for, to Hidden Woodsman. You can go out and check his stuff out. I believe this pack uh, currently in the camouflage is retailing for around $135. Um, with the materials that you're getting, it's a great value. Uh, you can certainly go cheaper on uh, cheaper haversacks out of the market, but you're not going to find one any any haversack that I reviewed in the past is as much quality and as heavy duty as this thing is. This thing's gonna, this is an heirloom piece. This is going to be passed on to people in my family. This, if I if I take care of this thing, it's going to be around forever. It's going to outlive me. Uh, just the the quality of the material and the the sewing and the construction, um, you can't beat it. So. Hopefully you found this useful. As always, please like, subscribe, and share. And we'll see you next time on The Prepared Wanderer. Thanks for watching.